Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. We're going to have a fun show today. We're going to stick in the heavyweight division like we've been the last few days. Um, interesting fight for the WBA regular title. You guys forget that Daniel Dubois has that title. Dubois wants white next. Um, we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. And also, please subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, um, very near and dear to our heart. So let's get into the news. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's a lot of people, I think, and I, I, I don't think inappropriately, still think of Daniel Dubois as a um, contender. You know, he's 24, which is, you know, still really young for a heavyweight. Um, you know, he's got some decent names on his resume. You know, uh, he's got the uh, loss to Joe Joyce, and he, he's beaten Trevor Bryan, uh, uh, Fujimoto, um, Nathan Gorman, or his, or his wins, um, Ebenezer Teta, uh, you know, I'm beating Prospect, who wasn't exactly setting the world on fire, and Bob Dino, um, Joey Cusimano. Um, you know, these, these are, these are good wins. These are, these are good wins, um, but they're not anything earth-shattering, right? Like, they're not next-level wins. I think we forget that he does have the WBA regular title, right? So, technically, he is a world champion. Um, now, obviously, the WBA super champ is um, Usyk. Um, and, I, you know, I, I don't know if we could build to that fight. Um, and I don't know if Usyk's going to be around. I don't know if Usyk's interested in that, but... Um, anyway, Dubois, I know and this is going to sound weird because Dubois technically is a world champion, but I think a win against White kind of solidifies Dubois. Dubois was our uh, prospect of the year in 2019 after that Gorman win. Uh, he had a couple other wins in 2019. Uh, he beat a guy named Richard Snyders um, right at the end. Um, that was 2020. Fujimoto was his last win. Um, he beat, a after the Gorman win in, in the summer, he fought... Uh, Tete, and then Fujimoto in twenty in twenty nineteen, and you know um, he finished out a, a really strong year. Um, you know, I, I I thought you know it was a year where he fought one, two, three, four, five times, I believe, and he looked like he you know he was the future of the heavyweight division. And then um, he fought Joe Joyce, Ricardo Snyder's, uh, and you know the, the Joyce. When uh, I want to say he quit, it wasn't a good look. That's for sure. He got hit with a jab. He went down. Um, you know, um, it was a close. A fight that was still up for grabs on the scorecards. One judge had it wide for, um, oh, one had it wide for uh, Joyce, and the other had a, a one point fight. So it was a fight still very much in doubt on the cards. And he got hit with a jab. His eyes swollen badly, and he just quit right there. Now. I, I do want to give um, Joyce some credit. He, he come back. He scored a couple of nice wins over, you know, French contenders, Bogdan Dino, um, and Paisan, my Siciliano, Joey Cusimano. Um, but the, the the win over Trevor Bryan for the uh, regular strap. Um, you know, they're they're good wins, but they're, they're nothing special. They're nothing spectacular. Um, he's three and all three knockouts. He's gone all seven rounds combined. Um, in those three fights, um, he, he's taking care of business as he's supposed to. Um, but those don't really do much to elevate him. White obviously would. Why is he a, a, a former world title challenger? Um, he was no, ranked number one. You know, depending on who you answer, as long as maybe three years. Um, White, you know, by any metric, by any one's calculations, a top 10 heavyweight, you know, he's probably somewhere six, seven, maybe, you know, 
Yeah, wherever you want to put him, right? He's he's clearly a a a, a, a top notch heavyweight below, um, you know, below the top four, but you know, not much below that. You know, five, six, seven, somewhere, somewhere in there. If we're saying that Fury, Usyk, AJ Wilder are the top four, you know, he's in that next group of guys, uh, definitely in the top ten, somewhere between five and ten. Um, and obviously he's a massive hitting heavyweight, you know. Uh, 28 wins, 19 knockouts, three losses, all by knockouts. So you know his fights are going to end spectacularly. Um, it, it, it's a must must win fight for both guys, right? Like um, the body snatcher, Dillian White is 35 years old. If he ever wants to get a world title shot, he's going to have to beat Dubois, right? A, a title shot against Usyk or what, whoever it may be. Um, I, I know that I'm not saying that is regular is not a world title. It is, but you guys know what I'm saying. Um, if, if he wants to get back to that level, he's going to have to beat Dubois. He's going to have to, you know, beat that upcoming prospect who already lost to Joe Joyce. Now, is Dubois better now than he was, you know, two years ago when he lost to Joe Joyce? Maybe, right? But we really haven't seen it against the level of competition. So um, I, I think both guys have a lot to prove in this fight, all right? You want me to break it down? I think Dubois is the better boxer. If Dubois doesn't get knocked out, he definitely wins the fight. Does he get knocked out? You know, Dubois is just as lethal. Dubois can win this fight in two ways. He can knock Dillian White out, and he can outbox Dillian White. So he could do either. He can win this fight either way. Um, you know, Dubois has got a sensational knockout record. 18 wins, 17 knockouts, right? So Dubois is obviously a puncher, but he hasn't knocked out world-class heavyweights because he just hasn't fought him. I wouldn't even say Joe Joyce is a world-class heavyweight, but that's for another discussion. Um, that was a bad loss, but he's rebounded from it as well as he could have expected given the competition. Um, you know, Dillian White's obviously not just a massive step up, but Dillian White's a step up, a massive step up from Joe Joyce. I'm not saying Dubois can't win this, and I think I'm going to pick Dubois. I think I'm going to pick Dubois on points. I think he uh, can can go you know, bang with him on the inside. I think he can uh, he, he can box with him, and I, I think you know, Dillian White is susceptible to being knocked out. Um, but I, I don't know that Dubois is going to have to fight that way. I, I think Dubois is going to fight a more calculated fight, uh, box him a little more, use the jab a little more. Uh, he could, you know, he certainly could get the knockout. And Dillian White could get the knockout. It, 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 it's that kind of fight. It's kind of a 50-50 kind of feel, right? And I'm just a little bit towards Dubois in this fight. But it's a great fight. And I want to give Dubois full credit uh, for wanting that fight with White, right? He's not looking for an easy touch or anything like that. He, he He's saying, give me the beast. Give me the monster. You know, I, I'll take um, I'll take Dillian White, the guy that no one apparently wanted to fight for years. Dubois is eager to fight him. Um, I, I think it's a great fight for White. If I if White wins that fight, like I say, he's, you know, what comes in? I think it's another world title shot. Now it's going to get tough. It's going to get political uh, because you got Usyk, you got Fury, and we're going to find out what happens with Fury in the immediate future. Uh, if Fury wins the belt, it looks like you know um, Wilder versus Hellenius will be a PC eliminator. Well, if he does, do they just promote? The winner of that fight, let's say Wilder, Tulefull, anyway, Champ, or do they make him take a challenge um, and they make him fight another ranked contender? I, I don't know what the WBC will do. I, I think they will just elevate him. Um, at that point, you know, could they work together? Could Dubois get that fight? Probably not, but it would be an interesting fight. You know, I, I would still pick Wilder until further notice on that. Uh, but I want to see Wilder again. And I want to see Dubois against a real good heavyweight. And I think we're going to get that. And I want to see White against, you know, a young upstart, right? You know, you go through uh, White's resume, and it's a really good resume. But it's not packed with young upcoming guys, right? Like, he hasn't fought a guy like this in a while. He's not, you know, he's fought um, Fury, Povetkin, uh, Oscar Rivas, uh, Derek Chisora, Joseph Parker, right? He's fought... These kind of aging guys uh, or in their prime or a little past their prime kind of guys. Good fighters, really good fighters, but nothing. He hasn't fought a young, upcoming, hungry, undefeated fighter in, in a while. And I know what you guys are going to say. Oscar Rivas was undefeated. Sure, Oscar Rivas was. Uh, you know, oh, it's Oscar Rivas. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media. You guys ended this fight. Do you guys think this is a good fight? Is this something you want to see? And you give Dubois credit for wanting this fight because 
who was the one that wants this. I'll leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick Hits comes at you every day. Eight to ten minutes a day. We're trying to be good on that promise. Come at you every day. Is August 24th. Um, yeah, it's August 24th, 2022. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.